Hi guys, thank you for dropping by to my channel Tech Tech. And uh, if you are here to actually find out how I actually prepared for the A plus examination, yes, you are the right video. And yes, I finally obtained my A plus certification after being in the IT industry for almost over 10 years. So this is my first CompTIA certification. So in this video, let me actually share with you my experience and the learning journey that I have actually taken to achieve this certification. Overall, it took about five months for me to obtain this certification. There are actually two exams that you need to sit down and clear before you can officially certify as A plus uh, professional. So the first exam is a uh, core one and the second is core two. So both you have to clear and then uh, you can obtain your A plus certification. In a few moments, I will show you the so-called website, official website from CompTIA on the exam details and objectives. And then I'll move on to the Udemy where I actually took the practice test pertaining to A plus, uh, core one and core two. And thirdly, I will show you the exam cram book and uh, which one to choose to study. With these theory materials, I'm sure that you definitely can pass the A plus certification with flying colors. So let's jump into the video, guys. Hey guys, right now we are at the comtia.org official website. This is where you can actually uh, find the objectives and exam details of all the CompTIA related uh, certifications. So uh, as I told you, I'll be going through with you on the CompTIA A plus uh, exam uh, objectives and the exam details. So A plus is the starting point of your career in IT. It's a performance based uh, exam certifying you for foundational IT skills across a variety of devices and operating system. So this is actually a vendor neutral certification that you can actually use across Windows and Mac. Okay, so let's uh, go to the certification on the top and you click core and there will be A plus as you can see here. Just click on it. And from here, it will bring you to the A plus page itself. Okay, I will not go through the call contents fully. I will show you the key areas that you need to actually uh, focus on. Okay, the first thing is this CompTIA course series requires candidate to pass two exams. Like I mentioned earlier, you have core one and core two. Okay, it covers the following new content. So please take note, it covers security skills for IT professionals. The configuring uh, the operating systems include Windows, Mac, Linux and Chrome OS and Android and iOS and administrative client base well as well as cloud based software. SAS software as service so and then you have to troubleshoot and problem solve core service support challenges while applying the best practices for documentation change management and scripting S support basic IT infrastructure and networking configure and support PC mobile and IOT device hardware implement basic data backup and recovery methods and apply data storage and management practice so these are the actually new content that actually been included the test that I took was uh, in the May edition. I got my certificate on the 26 May 2021 and the content that uh, it covered was actually based on this uh, what has been mentioned here. So with this A plus certification you can actually master the nine skills as below on hardware, operating systems, software troubleshooting, networking, hardware and troubleshooting sorry hardware and networking troubleshooting security mobile devices virtualization and cloud and operational procedures okay so this is actually a simple overview of a plus certification so let's go to the exam details and the exam detail will clearly mention you the code of the exam core 1 and core 2 so it's 220-1001 220-1002 so the candidate has to complete both the exam before they can earn the certification and this exam was actually launched back in 2019 so the exam description uh, you can see what are the things are covered in the core one 1001 covers mobile devices networking technologies hardware virtualization cloud computing and network troubleshooting and the core 2 which is 1002 covers installing and configuring operating system, expanded security software, troubleshooting operational procedure. And uh, each exam consists of maximum 90 questions and it has a MCQ as well as a performance based questions 
which means you need to have a there will be an option for you to drag and drop so the length of the examination is 90 minutes right and the passing score is actually uh, 675 for the core 1 and uh, the passing score for core 2 is 700 out of 900 so the recommended experience they mentioned here is 9 to 12 months and uh, the language uh, covered uh, English at launch and we have other languages as well as mentioned here so the certification actually lasts you for 3 years after 3 years you need to renew the cert because the technology evolves, changes so you need to keep abreast with the new technologies it's best that you get renewed it for every 3 years so at this COVID-19 situation the testing is that you can either take it uh, at the testing center or either online with the proctor being uh, watching over you over the webcam and the pricing details actually differs so in US itself is 232 uh, for other areas like Asia or what it might differ a few dollars more or less so you can view all the price here so for each exam you have to pay 232 USD okay so with this uh, certification what you can become so as mentioned clearly in the CompChair website A plus with the A plus certification you can become a service desk analyst help desk technical support technical support specialist field service technician associate network engineer data support technician desktop administrator end user computing technician help desk technician system support specialist so these are the job roles that you see here that uses A plus and the companies that uh, highly use these A plus is Intel, Ricoh, Nissan, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, HP and Dell. Show you the exam objectives. Before you can get the exam objectives, you need to actually sign up first and show your interest in receiving the exam objectives and then agree to the uh, terms of use and privacy statement and then submit. Once you have submitted, you will receive a link immediately to download the exam objectives in PDF format. So I already did that before. So let me uh, open up the exam objective for core 1 220-1001 exam. So we are here. So this was actually uh, for the core 1 uh, objective. Here you can see the required exam is core 1, maximum of 90 questions. It will consist of multiple choice and performance based, 90 minutes worth of uh, duration. And recommended experience is 12 months as an IT support specialist. The passing score is 675. The objectives of the domains will be mentioned as below. So here there are actually a total of five main uh, domains that you need to focus for core one. So first one is mobile devices, 14% of the exam uh, mark in total. And then networking, 20%. Hardware, 27% that's a lot virtualization and cloud computing 12% hardware and network troubleshooting 27% so all these would total up to 100% so you all have to put in your effort in the five domain area and uh, pass it in order to get the exam cleared so let me go down further so here they will tell you what does this domain covers mobile devices given a scenario install and configure laptop hardware and components uh, and 1.2 1.3 there are sub pointers for each domain go through this PDF file it will be very helpful in uh, for you to understand what is exactly going to be in the exam so I will not go through in uh, detail you may actually download this uh, objective and look through yourself the same thing goes for objective uh, for 220-1002 the core 2 exam and then uh, let's take a look at the domain that will be covered for this exam so you can see here here we have uh, four domains first being operating system 27% security 24% software, trouble software troubleshooting 
operational procedures 23% and total 100% again I'll show you what are the pointers that will be covered here you can see operating system 1.1 compare and contrast common operating system types and their purpose so again I will not go through in detail you can do it by yourself so this is the so-called important thing that you need to know before starting to prepare for this computer examination <coughs> please download this objective and print out to be very useful for you on the go you can learn just flip through it will can make notes and you can actually know what is going to come and uh, you will be very uh, prepared for the examination secondly I would like to show you Udemy's uh, course I'm sure you all know what is Udemy and what is it used for and uh, here we have this uh, famous instructor who actually specialize in CompTIA A plus examination preparation and uh, videos I will say he is one of the best instructor out there and let me uh, go to his course right now and show you who is he yep so under my learning I already enrolled to his course uh, and I'll click on this an example welcome to this course on the CompTIA A plus 220-1001 so there you go this is the famous instructor yes, Jason Dion I highly recommend getting this uh, course from Udemy and uh, start learning as soon as you enroll for the examination he gives you wealth of information pertaining to A plus and he does have this uh, practice exam as well and I strongly recommend you guys to go in uh, purchase this course on Udemy and start practicing before you sit for your core 1 or either core 2 I will go to my learning and show you what are the exams uh, that I have actually enrolled I'll go to my learning and I'll show you the courses that I have enrolled pertaining to CompTIA A plus and uh, I've enrolled for this CompTIA A plus 220-101 test prep exam and simulation I will put up the link below in my description later and you can actually follow the link and uh, enroll yourself so this is one of the uh, A plus course and another one is this core 2 as well CompTIA A plus 220-102 practice exam so both I actually enrolled in order to uh, fully grasp the idea of A plus in total so this is the uh, core 2 same thing all this will be the pure practice exam so here you can see I gain 70% so you need to pass at least 85% in order to actually fully understand the material of A plus so you can have practice as many times as possible until you hit the 85% and then you are confident to sit for your exam don't be shocked by the price that has been indicated here for the course for CompTIA A Plus by Jason. Once every two weeks, Udemy will have a sale and all the courses will actually uh, go for a discounted price up to 80% and you can actually get them at $14 to $19 if I'm not wrong. Uh, so I recommend you to purchase during that time instead of immediately you saw the price is under 8 do not purchase it immediately but wait for the sale and then uh, do the purchase as for the final resource that I have used for this CompTIA A plus certification is the exam cram book by David L. Prowse so this is the ebook that I have actually used most of the time to study based on objectives it will have all the information I highly recommend this book to purchase it and uh, use it for your examination and this will serve as your so-called on-site tool as well whenever you have doubt you can actually refer back to this exam cram and then you can actually uh, use it on your job on the go as well so let me just do a flip through of this uh, page so here I have uh, contents at glance you have this uh, practice exam ABC they have and then uh, they have this introduction 
on what to expect maybe I'll click this domain one so they can show you here domain one mobile device computer refers to any portable computers uh, the so-called the meaning the description of each domain is clearly mentioned in this ebook I highly recommend 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 this book to anyone out there going to sit for this A plus examination and you can still keep on using this as a reference on your job whenever you have doubt just refer to this this is number one book for A plus there's no doubt in this and whenever I had the issue in my exam questions or I got a fail mark I will just refer back to the so called the domain area and then I will go to that topic and re-revise from there I actually learned a lot this will be the official badge that will be issued to you after passing your CompTIA A plus and uh, so they actually officially tell you that once you obtain the certification you are proven problem solver who is able to perform critical IT support tasks including device configuration data backup recovery operating system configuration and we have demonstrated the baseline security skill for IT support roles and I will able to detect remove malware address privacy concerns and troubleshoot the cause service challenges so as uh, my final word do not depend on any dumps please you will not learn anything I highly recommend the three resources that I have shared to you. First, go to the CompTIA official website, download the objective. Secondly, go to Udemy, buy, purchase Dion uh, course for minimal amount, which is $14 to $19. And I'm not uh, being sponsored by Dion for recommending him, but he's the only uh, person that I think capable of teaching CompTIA A plus in the correct manner, in an understandable manner. Thirdly, get the exam cram book and refer to it whenever you have any doubts. I hope this video has been beneficial to you and I wish you all the best and good luck in the uh, in your journey in obtaining CompTIA A plus certification. Take care and stay safe.